This is Tim Tucker, AE6LX from WorldwideDX.com. I recently purchased a Jetstream Discone 25 to 1.3 MHz antenna, and today we're going to install it on the roof. So follow along. All right, I've got the parts out of the bag. You can see the various radiators, the hub, the instructions. I'll zoom in here on the instructions, and you'll see that this antenna is rated to transmit on 2 meters, 220, 440, 901.2 megahertz and it will handle 200 watts. That's pretty good. And you can see here to set this antenna up before we go up on the roof I've got my portable tripod here with a little piece of mass stuck in it and this is where we're gonna assemble the antenna. I'm showing a close-up of the hub uh, the, the base, the bottom part of it is aluminum. You can see the SO239 in there. The Allen screws, uh, which will tighten to the mast. These top two sections are stainless steel separated by some type of insulator, Delrin or otherwise. And the top bolt that holds the whole thing together um, is 12 millimeter, of course, because the antenna is made in Taiwan. So just want to show a real quick close-up of this uh, before I start assembling the elements on it. All right, you can see I've done the first step, which is attach all eight of the top radials. You can see how the hub fits on the mast. Obviously, the coax would come up through the mast and attach there. And you can see kind of how it looks from the top. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. As you can see, I've installed all of the vertical elements, and the antenna is ready to go on the roof. Before we do that, I want to take a moment to describe how this antenna works real briefly. Most of the signal is radiated in these vertical elements, and it is a vertically polarized antenna. The current is at its maximum up here in this area, towards the top of these vertical elements. Um, the current flows in all of the same direction on these, these vertical elements. However, in the top part, the current flows in opposite directions on each element, essentially canceling out the signal up here. Um, the antenna basically operates as a high-pass filter, um, so it generates or allows signal to pass from its lowest operating frequency um, up until it's kind of maximum determined by the dimensions of the antenna. Pretty simple, and that's how it works. And here is the finished installed Jetstream disc cone antenna. See, I've got it attached to a vent pipe mount on my roof with 10 feet of mast. And some high quality RG8, which happens to run over to a switch box uh, for my other antenna. But I just want to show the, uh, the view here so you can see you know, up above the valley of Southern California. San Gabriel Valley, Los Angeles. So you see I've got quite a good spot for, uh, for ham radio work here. But anyway, this antenna is going to be used to listen in on local police, talk on two meters, talk on the local 440 repeater. And uh, there it is, all installed. All in all, it probably only really took me 30-40 minutes to do this um, because I already had the mast in place. I just had to uh, replace one antenna with the other. There it is. Looks pretty good. It's ready to go. This has been Tim Tucker, AE6LX from WorldwideDX.com, and I hope you enjoyed the video of the installation of the Disco and Antenna.